What's up guys, Galaxy King here and today I'm giving you guys my Cyberdark deck profile and uh, before I start the deck profile um, I just want to say uh, on my uh, Fight for deck profile someone commented demanding that I use sleeves in my videos and I commented back that I can't because I have a low budget and I just haven't had time to buy sleeves. Uh, he also mentioned that I have enough money to buy cards but not sleeves and uh, I commented back that all the cards that I have that you guys are seeing in my deck profiles have either been the result of finding them from the packs or trading with other players. None of the cards that I use have been bought on the internet in any way at all. And I also just want to say one more thing that if I am not using sleeves for my deck profiles it means I'm using them for another deck that I'm already using at the moment and uh, I just wanted to clear this up so there's no uh, hatred or confusion in the future of this channel so I just wanted to clear it up right now and uh, let's go on with the deck profile Starting off, you want to play free Cyberdark Horn, free Cyberdark Edge, and free Cyberdark Kill. Uh, they all have the same effect, and when a normal special summoned, equipped one level 3 or lower Dragon type monster from your graveyard to this card, and then if this card will be destroyed by a battle or card effect, destroy the equipped monster instead. Only Horn lets you do piercing battle damage. Edge lets you uh, attack directly, but if you do, it's attack is halved. And then kill allows you to do an additional 300 points of damage if this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent. And then I play free Cyberdark Claw. This is your main equip card of the deck. Uh, you can discard this card from your hand, add one Cyberdark Speller Trap card from your deck to hand. So this is like your terraforming of the deck it searches out Cyberdark Inferno and also while it's equipped to a Cyberdark monster if this card attacks send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard so that's very useful and then free Cyberdark Cannon a uh, similar effect to a Cyberdark Claw only it allows you to search out a Cyberdark monster apart from Cyberdark Claw and when it attacks uh, basically send a monster from your deck to the graveyard so it can be useful if you want to summon Cyber Darkness Dragon by using the effect of Overload Fusion. But uh, I wouldn't equip Sub Dark Cannon to many of your Cyber Dark Monsters. You can if you want, uh, if it's your only choice at the time. But ideally I would go for Cyber Dark Claw. And then I play one Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. And the reason I play this is because all cards in my extra deck are Dragon type monsters. And you can basically banish either Claw or cannon, summon this from your hand, and then it's effect lets you summon any dragon type monster from your graveyard. So say if I had crystal wing in the graveyard, activate its effect, get crystal wing out. So it's very useful and it does help a lot. And uh, for hand traps I play free Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. So that's it for monsters. For spells, I play your field spells, free Cyberdark, Inferno, if you don't know what its effect does. Uh, Cyberdark monsters that are equipped with an equipped monster uh, cannot be targeted or destroyed by opponent's card effects. And when this card is the field, you can add one fusion spell card from your deck to hand, so it helps you search out Overload Fusion or another Cyberdark card. And also, uh, once per turn, you can target one Cyberdark monster you control, return it to the hand, and immediately just normal summon uh, one Cyberdark monster from your hand. So, say if you have Horn on the field equipped with Edge. If, if, I mean, if Horn was equipped with Claw, sorry, if Claw would be destroyed, you can activate its effect to bounce Horn back to your hand, activate its effect again, resummon Horn, and then get Claw back to Horn. So it's very useful. And then I play one Terraforming, because one is enough in this deck with Cyberdock Claw searching your Inferno out. And then I play three Allure of Darkness for draw power. And then I play three. Rule of the Haunted to Spanish uh, opponents annoying monsters so they can't use that effect for the rest of the turn. And then I play two Twin Twisters, two 
overload fusion. One power bond, one limiter removal, and one foolish burial. So that's it for the spells. For traps, I play three crush card virus. And the reason I play crush card virus in this deck is because if uh, you can't get claw cannon into the graveyard and you only have one of the normal cyber dark mosses, you can summon that and then activate its effects on your opponent's turn. Uh, to get rid of any annoying monsters that your opponent might have. So that's very useful, that's why I play three of that. And then I play one crush card, I mean drowning mirror frost, sorry. So that's it for the main deck. Sorry if I'm uh, getting cards wrong, I haven't had much sleep lately. And then for the extra deck, I play one Cyber Darkness Dragon. Ideally you do want to play three of this, but I only have one at the moment, so I only play one. But ideally you do want to play three. And then I play two Predator Plant Mirflesia. And the reason I play this is because when it's sent to the graveyard on the next standby phase of either player's turn, just add a fusion card to your hand. So that's very useful. Uh, helps you draw into the deck a lot easier. And it's just a very good card all around. And then for the rest of the extra deck, you can just play whatever you want, really. As long as it's a strong monster and it has a lot of attack power, you can just play whatever you want. So for example I play one five headed dragon and three blue eyes alternate dragon. Well two Neo and one normal and then one two one Bills, one Crystal Wing and one Skylight Red Dragon I think. And uh most of these monsters well basically all of them are machine monster uh, dragons, sorry, and they combo off well with the uh, red eyes darkness metal dragon so you can basically summon whatever one you want if you have this on your field. So it's very useful for this deck. Anyway guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos and I'll talk to you all later.